all right friends so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so today as a part of this uh, trail uh, basically the trail is secure or secure your apps with salesforce shield and we have mostly covered the event monitoring part module we have covered it so today we are going to talk about the event monitoring analytics app so what does it do so let's create on the create event analytics app so after this completing this unit we should be able to uh, prepare our org for the event monitoring analytics and we are, should be able to set the user permissions and um, whatnot so we can also describe the difference between the diff between the permission set licenses and the permission sets and uh, using the configuration wizard to create the event monitoring an analytics app so so let's see how many points we can get uh, after completing this trail so we uh, should be able to get 100 points we should be good enough so and don't be so greedy this is uh, more of a this is more of a like a very uh, overview type of uh, image uh, like a uh, trail so it's bound to get 100 points so so basically we have to we need to get this uh, event monitoring uh, i mean we first have to enable the event monitoring and analytics in our org so for that they have given the steps here and uh, after we enable the uh, event monitoring and analytics in our org then we should be we should be able to give other people the access about it and uh, now let's see if we have the access like uh, uh, so we should be able to after providing the approved permission we should be able to view the dashboard the key thing here is the permission set licenses and the permission sets they are actually a different quite a bit different like you can exam you can imagine a permission set license like a passport which grants you the right to travel to countries say europe and but you can't um, you can't go inside unless you have a visa so permission set is like a visa and you get a three suppose you get a uh, three day europe schengen visa and the uh, work visa henceforth so uh, i mean each of which lets you do certain things but uh, everything you want to do you need both a passport and a visa so basically you need a permission set license and a permission set so having said that we uh, once we, these are the two key things like we should have we should be having the event monitoring analytics admin and the event monitoring analytics user here here you go so once you do that so we should be able to good uh, we should be able to store the data we should 30 days is the maximum amount of report data you can store in the analytics let's see how many points you can you can we should be able to gather uh, with this with this event monitoring analytics app trail so what is the first question is which standard permission sets are available to assign permissions to event monitoring analytics users so as you have seen like um, uh, it's not the analytics user and, and analytics admin it's definitely not the user and admin it's definitely not the analytics manager and user analytics monitoring analytics event monitoring analytics user and the event monitoring analytics admin so these are the two permission sets which we should have and what what is the statement which statement is true you can't clone a standard permission set no not true you need a, to assign a user a permission set license and permission set with the right permissions to access the event monitoring analytics and uh, this looks pretty good what is the maximum number of days you can retrieve data for in for in event monitoring analytics so we have seen here uh, we have seen before that uh, 30 days is the time period when we should be able to uh, get the we should be able to retrieve the data in event monitoring analytics so let's see if we are able to get these 100 points so woohoo we are able to get the 100 points for this particular uh, trail so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and uh, keep watching keep subscribing and uh, stay safe in your home and uh, take care